Turpang 2 is one of the latest and greatest FPS games, and it beautifully mixes fast-paced shooter and horror, but in a truly unique and compelling way. But it has some serious flaws, like lack of content and steep learning curve. But the game still scores very high view rates on Steam, so is the game worth it or is it just overhyped? Let's find out. Now, Turpang 2 thrust plays into a thrilling, fast-paced first-person shooter, and the game encapsulates the raw energy of action-packed blockbuster and mixed with tactical combat elements. And as you navigate through the world, you will immerse yourself in a tense atmosphere. The game offers a beautiful blend of stealth, strategy, and high octane gunfight that'll keep your adrenaline pumping. With a high focus on close quarter combat, every battle feels personal and intense, and it truly encapsulates the essence of a visual shooter. And what really sets the game apart from other games is the bullet time feature, inspired by others like Max Payne. As the action unfolds, you can slow down time, you can dodge bullets and execute your enemies in style, making you feel like a true action hero. And this unique mechanic adds a layer of strategy to the gunfight, sending the game to a whole new level of excitement. And as you dive into the heart of gameplay of Trepang 2, you quickly realize this game is all about the gunplay and less about the story. And the primary gameplay loops revolves around tactical gunfights, stealth, and utilizing the fantastic bullet time mechanic. And the game is specifically catered towards players who love the rush of action-packed combat with a sprinkle of strategy and planning. An example of a typical gameplay scenario would be infiltrating a guarded compound. You might start by trying to observe the patrol patterns of the guards, and you still to silently eliminate isolated targets. Or you can just go guns blazing, using the bullet time mechanic, and just shooting everything that moves. And it's a really satisfying and compelling loop that keeps you coming back for more. And the game also offers a wider range of guns and tools at disposal. These range anywhere from silent pistols for stealthy approaches to shotguns and assault rifles for when things get loud. And if you aren't sold on the game already now, just know you can do it with shotguns. Mic drop. Now as the game progresses, you'll encounter tougher enemies and situations that require tactical use of these tools, making each new encounter a thrilling experience. And the gameplay mechanics of Trapang 2 really stand out. This bullet time feature combined with the fluid gunplay and stealth mechanics offers a really high replayability value, and each encounter can be tailed in numerous ways, giving the player the freedom to approach scenarios based on their preferred playstyle. Now, in terms of progression, Turpang 2 uses a mission-based structure. The early game sets the stage, teaching you the basics of combat and stealth, and as you proceed, missions become more and more complex and challenging, and it also introduces new enemies and scenarios that test your mastery and mechanics. And even though it's a mission-based structure, the storyline is intriguing, but it serves more of a backdrop to the gameplay. It's kind of there to provide context and motivation as to why you're actually doing this, but the main attraction, the main reason you're playing this game is absolutely for the gameplay. So you would definitely buy this game for the gameplay and not so much for the story. It's more of a secondary thing. Now, when it comes to difficulty, Tripang 2 does offer an initial challenge, especially for players who are new to the game. But it's a game that teaches by doing rather than holding your hand. That means you learn by experimenting and gradually adapting to the game mechanics. For example, early on, you may not time your bullet time right, resulting in taking a hail of bullets. But as you play, as you get better at knowing when to use it, you will ultimately master it. And it becomes really satisfying and a major part of the gameplay. And this trial and error approach is indeed a significant part of the gameplay experience. There will be times when a plan falls short and you will need to improvise on the spot. And this is where the game shines. The game encourages you to think on your feet and watch you for creative problem solving. And the game actually strikes a pretty good middle ground of between casual and hardcore players. While the initial gameplay will be fun for the more casual players, trying to really optimize and perfect it will be really fun for the hardcore gamers. Now, when you first start Tripang 2, you will likely be intrigued by the blend of stealth and action. The early game serves as a tutorial phase, introducing you to the basic mechanics of the gunplay, stealth, and the bullet time. And you'll be facing a variety of dangers from armored patrols that require careful navigation to heavily armored enemies that can be really challenging if they find you. And the combat system is highly satisfying, offering really fluid gunplay with a good selection of weapons. If you find this helpful, a like on the video helps a ton with the YouTube algorithm, and I'd really appreciate the support. Now, the game released in June of 2023 and cost 30 bucks, but there is also a free demo you can just go and download now, and I'd highly encourage you to try this out, as it'll give you a good understanding of the gameplay if you actually decide to buy it. Now, graphically, Trepang 2 is quite impressive, especially when considering developed by an indie studio, the environments are well designed with a gritty, realistic aesthetics that shows the game high-intensity action. The lighting and particle effects particularly stand out during combat, adding an extra layer of cinematic flair to the gunfight. And the sound design is also top-notch, from the resonant echoes of your gunshots to the intense, hard-pounding music during action sequences. And the sound truly elevates the immersion. And this is also especially noticeable during the bullet time, where the sound distorts and slows, heightening the feeling of tension and drama. So when it comes to immersion, Trepang 2 excels. The combination of the game's realistic graphics, dynamic sound design, and really exciting gameplay mechanics really come together to create a truly engaging experience. The game draws you into its world and keeps you on the edge of your seat. So in terms of the pros and cons of the game, the first pro is hands down the combat mechanics. This particular slow motion bullet time and the stealth options and provides you with a variety of different ways to approach the game. And it is hands down one of the best FPS games I've ever played just in terms of the gunfights. The same pro is definitely the AI. The enemy AI is actually really hard to deal with. And I'm not sure how, but they've somehow made an AI that actually functions 
matches really well. So hats off to them for doing that. And next pro is definitely the graphics and the sound design. They really provide a truly immersive experience. And now for the cons. The first con is the steep learning curve. Mastering some mechanics like bullet time will be fairly overwhelming for newcomers. Now this won't be a con for everyone. For the more experienced players, mastering these mechanics will be some of the most fun you've ever had. And next con is the lack of content. By this, I don't mean the gameplay itself. The gunplay is absolutely fantastic, but I'm referring to the amount of missions and storyline. You can quite easily beat this game in under 10 hours, and even less if you're a more experienced player, so it can be quite difficult to justify 30 bucks for under 10 hours of gameplay. And now let's grade the game. The first thing we're grading on is the gameplay. It has a really blend of classic first-person shooter combined with really innovative elements like bullet time and stealth, alongside a really clever AI, and this results in a score of 9 out of 10. It is hands down one of the best FPS games I've ever played in terms of the raw gameplay. And next thing we're grading on is graphics, sound, and immersion. Now the really solid graphics, effective sound design, and immersive suspense of atmosphere, the game scores an 8 out of 10 here. And the game just feels and looks really, really solid, and I cannot recommend it enough. And now we're rating on replayability and progression. Now this is definitely the weakest part of the game. So in terms of progression, it is quite good. From mission to mission, there's just not enough. And this can also be seen in the replayability. So here the game scores a 6 out of 10. If they can add some more game modes or some more missions later on to improve the replayability and progression, this will be one of the best bullet time FPS games ever made. But as it stands right now, it is quite mediocre. So the overall grade of Trepang 2 is 8 out of 10. And I cannot stress enough just how good the gameplay is. It is absolutely fantastic and I'd highly recommend at least trying to demo out since the gameplay combined with the graphics and immersion really makes it into a solid, solid game. But a lack of content is quite noticeable and experienced players will blast through it in under 10 hours. And the game's difficulty and mechanics like bullet time and stealth provides a satisfying challenge for players who enjoy first-person shooters. So if you're the kind of player who really enjoys mastering complex mechanics and outsmarting AI, Trepan 2 might be right up your alley. But I do want caution for more casual players as the game has quite a big learning curve and can be quite challenging especially later on. And the game does focus quite heavily on trial and error approach so you might have to retry the same mission over and over again until you finally nail it. So is the game worth it? For me, absolutely. Even though you won't get the highest amount of replayability and value, the gameplay is absolutely fantastic. But what do you think? Do you think it's worth it? Leave a comment down below and let us know. And lastly, as a small channel, please consider hitting the like button as it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. So thank you so much for doing that. Also, if you're looking for more game reviews, make sure to check out the rest of the channel. And I think you also enjoy one of the videos on the screen now, so make sure to check those out and I'll see you there.